What's going on everybody? Welcome back. It has been a minute. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Dylan. I am Adonis Cosplay Online and uh, we're going to make some cosplay today. It's been a couple years since I made a video, so bear with me. We're going to get back in the swing of things. But uh, I had decided to make Ichigo from Bleach. So Bleach is coming back. Thousand Year Blood Wars coming out right now. I'm sure a lot of you guys are very popular. Some of you might be watching Bleach for the first time. This is going to be a tutorial on how to make his wig, uh, his strawberry blonde hair, or his orange hair. It's going to be super easy, and you're not going to need very much to do it, and you don't need very much experience. It uh, should be a pretty cheap, pretty easy uh, wig styling. So let's just jump right in. Let's first talk about the things that you're going to need. You're obviously going to need a wig. This one is from Arta Wigs. They're probably the most reputable wig company for cosplay or the most well-known. Uh, this is a Derek Classic in light copper red. So if you guys want this one, uh, it should Derek Classic light copper red. It was only about $30, $35 uh, to get this wig. But if you need to get a cheaper one uh, or you're trying to ball on a budget for this cosplay, you can get one on Amazon, usually around... 15 bucks or so is probably a cheaper wig, but no if you do buy one on off of Amazon uh, You're gonna get a little bit of a thinner wig They don't typically put as many fibers in those as they do for these so I always recommend Arda if you can if not uh, it, It'll be just fine. Usually the thinner parts are in the back, so you don't have to worry about it too much Wigs number one. I would recommend getting yourself a wig head. You can get these for like five dollars at most of your hobby stores, Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Um, I have a, you can't see it right now, but I'll show you in a second. I have a wig stand, uh, which this goes on. There's a little hole in the bottom of these, so this slots right on here. It's not super necessary, but I would say it's going to be way more convenient to do it this way. To style your wig on a wig stand rather than on uh, just the table with the wig head, because this thing is all floppy when you got the wig on it and you're trying to cut, makes it a huge hassle. I'd recommend picking one of those up on Amazon. I'm sure they're cheap. Uh, I've had mine forever, so I don't know what the new price would be, but I can't imagine it'd be more than 10 bucks to get one of those. You're also gonna need a hair dryer and some hairspray. This has got to be glued hairspray. This is kind of a staple for cosplay. People have used this forever. It works great on holding hair fibers or wig fibers in place. Uh, we're gonna use these two in tandem. And then of course you're gonna need scissors. Now I'm using very cheap, just regular run-of-the-mill scissors. You don't need anything fancy, so you should be fine cutting with whatever, depending on uh, if they're sharp or not. So just get yourself some sharp scissors, and we will get started cutting this wig. Okay, first let's get started with reference photos. So I have a couple pulled up behind me here. One is kind of straight on, one is a little bit to the side. It's going to give us an idea of how Ichigo's hair kind of grows out from his head, uh, like how you have that spot in the back of your head where all your hair grows from. That's going to give us a good idea of where his works and which direction his goes. Uh, we're going to want to know that and just kind of copy it the best we can. He's got a very generic spiky hair look. Uh, so it's going to be pretty easy and we're going to be able to take some liberties on what it's actually going to look like when we're designing it, when we're cutting the wig here. But I've got the wig propped up on my, uh, my wig stand here and the wig head. Uh, it's just sitting on it right now, but as you can see, the hair is extra long. There's no shape to it, and we're going to get this looking uh, nice and sharp like the Ichigo wig, Ichigo hair that you see uh, in the reference photos behind us. If you guys don't know, these wigs have direction. So let's take a look on the inside here. I flipped this thing inside out. This big part is going to be the front of your wig that's going to sit kind of on your forehead or top of your head right here. And you'll see the tag in the back here, and that's going to sit at the back here uh, of your neck right there. So when you're putting it on your wig head, you want to make sure that those things are lined up nice and correct, I guess, because you're going to have a good reference point. Also, wig heads are usually not the same size as your real head, so you're going to want to put this on you periodically throughout the cutting. So if you see here, perfect. We can actually just leave it like this and call the video right now. All right, we're going to get started on actually cutting the wig now. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is kind of pick a spot to work on and uh, work our way around the wig that way. And I'll show you guys some cutting tips on how to actually cut the hair properly. And then we will kind of probably time lapse it into uh, uh, just getting the rest of this done. And any specific points that we want to make, we'll stop the video then. So first thing that I'm going to start with is probably the bangs. These are a bit too long. If you uh, have your references pulled up, you'll notice that the bangs actually stop right below his eyebrow ridge. So we're going to try to cut those up there. Like I said, this this uh, wig head is going to be smaller than my head, so this is not the line that we're cutting to. We're going to have to put it on, take it off, trim, put it on, take it off, 
and keep doing that until we are happy with how long the wig hair is. Get yourself some scissors and we will get started on this. Uh, one thing to note before we do get started, you can always cut more hair off. You can't put the hair back on with these wigs here. So take your time, cut longer, right? Leave the length long. And if it's too long, trim it up. If you go too much too fast, you may have ruined your wig. All right, one thing you will note is his hair does have this split right here uh, going on his his left side. So this is his left forehead and his hair goes across his face this way. We're gonna start by taking a bit of his hair. Uh, I just put this on, took it off. It's about an inch too long is what I'm guessing at the moment. So I'm gonna cut off about an inch of this hair, which is gonna bring this to roughly there. And the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna take a little bit at a time. I'm gonna take my scissors straighten it out just like this, and I'm going to cut into the hair rather than across the hair. So this is not how we want to do it. We don't want to cut this way. We want to cut straight in the hair. This is going to make it choppier. And it's going to take that length off that we're wanting, but at the same time, we're going to have a lot of texture here. If you cut it nice and straight, it's going to be really difficult to style spikes uh, when we get to the actual styling portion of it. So I'm going to cut the bangs off just like this. little interjection here. This is by no means the only way that you can cut and style wigs. It's just how I've done it over the years. So if you have a better way or if you've seen better ways, by all means, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can learn from you guys as well. This is just me sharing how I did it. Uh, I've been doing it for a little while, but I'm by no means professional. So if you have a better way, please let me know. Share it with other people. We can all learn together. This is going to get messy, so I would recommend maybe putting a towel down or something underneath you, or preferably cut hair on a spot where you can vacuum it up or sweep it up when you are done. A little pro tip there, because it does get everywhere. All right, one other trick that I'm going to show you guys with actually cutting hair is going to be uh, kind of like a thinning method. So where I'm cutting from the top inwards. Let me pull this camera in close and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so if we have uh, this whole part right here, you can see it's nice and smooth, uh, like meaning the hair is starting here and it's going all the way down here. So the hair fibers are very long and we're not going to want that. We're going to want more of a choppy textured look to the hair so we can create those spikes. And a great way to do that is to get yourself a small section of the hair. So I just grab a little bit like that and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut against the bottom. So I'm going to start up here and slowly kind of cut, 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 cut my way down. So it's going to look a little bit like this. And that's going to create these little natural spiky bits. And that'll be super easy for making our spikes later on. But you can kind of do that all over the place. So if you know, for example, he's got a lot of spikes on top, we can take a bit right in the front, maybe right here and we can cut all the way down. Now you'll notice I didn't cut all the way straight through that whole bit of hair. We do little chops at a, at a time and work our way down. That way it's textured while still maintaining the proper length of spike that we want. I'm gonna work on this wig, try to get all the way or at least around uh, with the front being done because there's a lot of weight in the front that I gotta take off and uh, then we will chat again once it's time to give you guys some more tips. There's a lot of weight in the front of this wig here, a lot of fibers, so it's going to feel really thick until we can uh, cut enough that it sits properly. So you'll, you'll notice we kind of got the, uh, the um, early 2013 look going on, maybe some Justin Bieber hair back in the day, uh, that old swoop look. But we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna try to make it look a bit more spiky. Uh, there's a lot of weight right here, so I'm gonna thin this out. And then uh, we're gonna move on to the sides. And when we get to the sides, I will pop this back on and show you guys some tricks for this because uh, the sides are gonna kind of make or break a wig. 
in my opinion. So we'll talk about that in the next couple minutes. Let's see where we're at on this. Okay, still a bit long. I don't really like where I have that parted, so we're gonna part it right here and kind of make a note of that to ourselves, that this is kind of where it is. And you'll notice they've got a lot of hair going on uh, on the sides and it's puffing out quite a bit. So we, it's not quite tight to our head yet, which really makes a wig look way more natural, way more real when it's not this shape. But obviously we haven't styled it yet either. Uh, we're still trying to work on getting the length right. I think we're actually, I mean, we're a little long. Like I said, it should just be right at his eyebrow ridge. Um, can't see the references right now, but it should just be right at our eyebrow ridge. So we need to cut these a bit more all the way around. And then this is the part that I was going to talk about around your ears. So these bits, the like sideburn bits, it's very important to have those be the right length and size and shape because that's going to make your wig look way more realistic is if it comes around your ear naturally and sits correctly. So we want to have this be, looks like this is almost sitting right at the bottom of his ear, maybe even slightly above it. So we still have a little bit more to cut off here, but it's not too bad on that side. This side's kind of long and we've also got a lot of weight left on this side to get rid of. So we're going to thin this up a bit more uh, with that downward cutting method to kind of help remove some of that bulk, texture it up a bit, and we'll pop back on one more time before we start styling uh, just to make sure the length is good all the way around. The back of the neck, by the way, is a little long, so we're going to trim up the back of the neck. Usually that's not as important. Uh, it's just kind of standard upward cutting or that downward cutting on the back just to shore it up a little bit, make it a little bit smaller and a little bit tighter to the bottom of your head. Um, plus he wears a collar so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Uh, the back of the head is usually just spikes all over and a little bit on the shorter side. Okay, so we threw the way back on the bangs. The bangs are about where we want them to be. They're kind of right on the, the eyebrow line uh, at the angle. And I have the part right here. It's still long on the sides here, maybe a little bit poofy on the sides here, but you can see we've added a lot more texture throughout this wig. It's not just uh, one straight bit of hair from top to bottom. You're going to want a lot of texture because we have to make this really spiky here in a bit. And you can see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I'm shedding a lot of hair. So like I said, it is a bit messy. Um, I like where this is at. We're going to keep that there. I'm going to work around the edges a bit. I got to cut this bit like we talked about on the ears, the sideburn area that has to be a bit shorter. I did trim up the back. I think that looks pretty good and I haven't texturized the back yet. So I do need to do that. Uh, but once we get everything cut and kind of overall textured, then we're gonna go ahead and style it. It's gonna be way easier. Uh, like I said, make sure you don't cut it too short, but we do want smaller spikes on top because these sticking up, you know, that too much is gonna, is gonna look a little bit funky. Um, too, too big of spikes makes your wig look kind of cheap and kind of, uh, well, I mean, it's not accurate. So we're trying to get as accurate as we can. So we're gonna cut those to the right size uh, best we can, and then we're gonna start styling. Okay, so we've done our first round of cutting. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it looks so far. We're actually gonna go ahead and start styling it now and kind of adjust it as we go uh, with some more cutting and some additional styling. So I've got my hairspray and my hair dryer. I'm going to go ahead and cut to, uh, once it's styled a little bit, kind of show you how I do it. Show you how I do a couple of the individual spikes and let you follow along with how the hair is flowing, how we're spiking it, how I'm spraying it. But I'm gonna do a few first so you can see how it looks uh, once the styling has started. One thing to mention before uh, we get started on this, I did take the wig off the wig head, held it upside down, and used the hair dryer to kind of blow the wig up, the hair up, because on the top of this head here, uh, these hairs are really flat. And we don't want it to be flat, we want it to stick up for spiking. So I used the hair dryer, held it upside down, and then hair dried, used some heat on that hair to get those fibers to stand up a bit more, trimmed it up, and then now it's ready for styling. 
Next, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I'm going to do the styling for the, the spikes here. So I've, I've done a couple on the front, but I want to show you or give you an example of how we actually do it. Super easy. Uh, this is just the back of the wig here. I'm going to take my Got To Be Glued hairspray, and I'm going to use the hair dryer, and uh, it should be pretty simple. So what you do is you get yourself what you want your spike to be, so a good, uh, you know, decent amount of hair. Uh, that leads to a point, you don't want any, any square ends, but we're going to give it a spray with the hairspray on the top and underneath, and we're going to kind of shape it into a point with our finger. And while we do that, I'm going to use the hair dryer on a low setting with low heat, and I'm going to basically just dry the hairspray. So this is how that works out. So if we're going to use this as an example, a little hairspray on the top and bottom, shape it into that point. And just like that, you've made a spike that's gonna hold its shape pretty well. Now, depending on how much hairspray you put on is gonna make this spike stronger, uh, more rigid. If you want it to kind of flow or bounce, I would do less. If you want it to be nice and solid, I would do more. Generally what I do for my wigs is as I'm going through, like I said, you can see I've done a handful already. As I go through, I make the general shape with the spikes here, and then I trim it up if I need to, and then I'll go back in and I'll put more hairspray on, kind of harden up certain areas, or if I have to redo one, uh, it's not too hard to have to like go back and try to comb it out or wash it out and ruin the whole thing. So light at the beginning, and you can solidify it later on. This is what we're looking like so far. Let me see if I can pull this back for you guys here. So I've done just the front here. I have the sides to get working on, as well as the entire rest of it. Let's jump into a time lapse and see if we can get this whole wig uh, done, and I will show you guys the exact areas of how I spiked it out at the end. Okay, so one quick thing I want to point out before we keep going on this wig is a lot of times when you're making these spikes, especially early on like this, you're going, you're going to get some spikes that have like really long tips because the hair is just too long in that section. And that's okay. So we're making the spikes now. We're going to go trim them up. So I'm actually going to clip some of this off and then kind of reshape these so you don't end up with like these weird stragglers. You see how, how these are hanging off really far, especially when the rest of the hair isn't, isn't spiked up yet. Um, we're going to correct that. So you're going to get this. We're going to go through and correct it, uh, and then it'll look much better at the end. Also, be prepared to get a lot of hairspray on your fingers. Uh, it coats my nails, so it takes a little bit to get off. Feel free to wear some, some gloves if you wish, but it might be hard dealing with the fibers of the hair. But just FYI, we're going to fix this later on, so just trust the process. That's the whole thing about wigs is trust the process. Honestly, until from the moment the wig is out of the bag until it is finished, I feel like it looks terrible. Every time that I make a wig, I feel like it looks terrible until it is done and on my head, and then I'm pretty satisfied with it. So trust the process, and uh, we'll get this finished up. Okay, we are almost done with this wig, and as I was talking about earlier, you want to pay attention to where the spikes are coming from on the head. So if you look at it straight on, we have kind of an origin spot on this side. His hair goes from his left to his right. There's a split on his left side of his forehead, and then around the back, we just try to make it flow the best we can. Uh, hair's going to flow out from that one center point. We did go ahead and do some trim ups and a second round of hairspray and uh, the hair dryer as well to make these spikes a little bit stronger. Now, 
I am going to go back in and clean it up again. We have a bunch of flyaway hair, which is something you might encounter, a bunch of like extra little strands in here. Just go in and cut those out. Super easy to do. Uh, but I would recommend one other tip here is I've actually left the bottom ring, meaning his like forehead, around the ears, and then the back of his neck. I always leave that for last. Um, that is kind of the hardest part, and I always recommend putting the wig on yourself, making sure you like where it is, taking it off, styling it, putting it back on, and repeat. That way you can get it exactly right. Uh, but like I said, we are almost done, and I'll give you some shots of the end result. So far, I like how it is turning out, and uh, yeah, we'll see you when we're finished. Okay, so we are finished up with the wig. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, it did take me a while, so obviously the video you're watching, it'll go through really quickly on how to do it, but I did take a lot of time to actually do the wig over a handful of days. Uh, so, you know, if it's taking you a long time, don't even worry about it. Uh, it, it sometimes it, you just got to play with it until you get it right. But I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it all the way around. Uh, one little tip before we go, though, whenever you do get your wig on, um, if you haven't heard this before, I would always suggest using a little bit of hairspray and that same hair dryer, the same technique, and pushing those sideburns down on your face. Just spray your face a little bit, put the sideburn down, hair dry it, boom. This sticks to your face and it doesn't make the wig uh, poof out. So. That's a little uh, little pro tip for you. I think it, it makes a world of difference for uh, how a wig sits on your head. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to try to put the rest of the cosplay for Ichigo on video as a tutorial for you guys. We'll probably break it up into a couple different videos, uh, but that way we can build this entire costume together. Um, if you liked it, obviously hit the like button and subscribe if you are uh, interested, and we will see you in the next video. There's some shoes from Future Me when you're editing. Picking out a thumbnail, enjoy those.